in the race for a Senate seat in Kansas. We do know who won that one. Republican Roger Marshall won over Democrat Barbara Bollier 53 percent to 42 percent in a hotly contested race that ended up possibly being a little bit more of a wider margin than a lot of people might have expected in that race. Let's get to 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan with reaction from both candidates this morning. Charlie, history was against Barbara Bollier in this race. It sure was, yeah. She's uh, Kansas has not elected a Democrat to the Senate since 1932, so she had a steep hill to climb. She was getting a big boost, though, in campaign contributions. We know that Bollier outraised uh, Marshall when it came to this race, but Marshall had plenty of firepower, too. Outside groups spent more than $10 million apiece to support these candidates moving for through this campaign. Let's get you to the hotel, though, in Topeka last night, where Marshall gave his uh, victory speech to his supporters. He said he thanked everyone who voted for him, and he said it was really his ground game that got him, uh, you know, the win here in this campaign. And he promised to bring the same energy and work ethic that he's had on the campaign trail to the Senate, where he'll fight for Kansas values. We knew from day one that we were going to be outspent, spent three to one, four to one. We didn't know what it would be, so we had to win the grassroots war. And our Kansas GOP Republican chair people just did an incredible job. And on the Democrat side here, a lot of the political experts said that besides all the campaign cash for Bollier to win this race, she would have really had to win a couple of counties that Laura Kelly won in 2018 when she became governor as a Democrat. When it came down to the end, though, Bollier only won three of those six critical counties. She did win here in Johnson County, but only by a single-digit victory uh, here in her home county, uh, which was not what she was hoping for, of course. She gave a concession speech where she says she hopes that her campaign helps in some of the divisiveness in politics. Kansas has been working its way back from the partisan fringes for several years, and it has been a team effort. Our progress has not always been linear, but I hope my candidacy in 2020 made a meaningful contribution to the journey. Marshall also echoed those same bipartisan sentiments in his victory speech and says when he gets to Washington, D.C., he really wants to make sure to work with both sides of the aisle. Here in Overland Park, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.